all love wet and wild eyeshadows. Who loves wet and wild in general? So today's video is gonna be all about wet and wild eyeshadows. Yay! Did I just do that? Okay. So, I have a few eyeshadows I want to just go ahead and tell you guys. Even their little quads. I just love Wet n Wild. I just love them. I haven't did a video in a while talking about Wet n Wild. So, this video is going to be that video. And today is going to be that day I'm going to film this video. Wet n Wild eyeshadows are so pigmented to where you're going to be like, What? Is this York Store? Jerk Store? Drug Store? Yes. You're going to be like, what? Is this a drugstore brand? And yes, it is, guys. Wet n Wild. I would purchase Wet n Wild before I apply. Ugh. I would purchase Wet n Wild before I would purchase MAC, to be honest. And the reason why I said that, I love MAC eyeshadows. They're great and everything. But when it comes down to Wet n Wild, it is just something about Wet n Wild. I just was like, dang, yes. So... It's on fleek. <laughs> their eyeshadows are on fleek. Yes. So the first eyeshadow I'm going to talk about is their singles. I only own three, but I'm just kind of like building my collection. So I've been wearing makeup for a very really long time. And last year, I started really getting into Wet n Wild, by the way, if you guys are wondering. So last year, I was um, getting into Wet n Wild. So yes so let's get started so the first one I really love is the wet n wild color icon in brulee this reminds me of max brulee eyeshadow a little bit but it is a lot more matter and sometimes these are a little bit tough to you know open but it's a perfect really it's a perfect highlighter for your brows like if I can hold this little thing it's so perfect and it is a deep I found a deep like seriously I was looking for a deep and I found one coming from the is Judy sign palette if you guys can just look don't they kind of look similar just a little bit to y'all yes so I really, really love it I'm gonna have a world press of the pictures and everything soon but I really like the shadow because one it is so soft creamy and I just love it let's just swatch it on my hand so you can see just by a swatch and a primer look how gorgeous that is I'm not even using primer you guys or a base that's how pigmented wet and wild is like seriously the next one I'm going to be talking about is Nutty Nazut Hopefully you haven't seen it right, but of course they'll be popping up here in the video. Um, once again, they, ow, a little tricky to open. This one is a brown, it's a lot more shimmery, and I have to say, if you want to, use it on your lids. Use it on your lids, you guys. Um, I'm going to swatch this one. I'm just going to swatch all of them. Just do it like that. Okay. This one is gorgeous, and I'm going to tell you why. If you are looking for that, oh my gosh, highlight on your cheeks, that you don't want to take a selfie, and it's just like right there, and it's just bold, try this eyeshadow as a highlight because it's going to even out everything, guys. This eyeshadow here, just look at how it looks on my skin, and imagine taking pictures or just being on camera talking about it. I'm not wearing it today, but I have tried it before and it's just amazing. You guys, it, it wowed me very much. This next one kind of tricked me. It's called Panther. Panther is a, it looks like a black. It, it does, it looks like a black. But when you swatch it, okay, when you swatch Panther, it kind of gives that bluish tint of a black so you gotta be careful if you want to do a smoky eye with this and you're gonna see like a little bit of blue but it's just gorgeous so the next one are their, their trios their little trios I don't really have a collection of these but um, I have 
walking is this walking on eggshells so I have walking on eggshells and gosh these things are hard to open. Yeah, acrylic nails, they're good here are the trios. I'm not going to swatch it because pretty much this is one that has been talked about a lot but on YouTube. Mm, come on, get rid. Ingrid even uses these. Ingrid, Miss Glamorous uses these. And if you really think about it, it's just a gorgeous little trio. Something that you can just have fun with. Something that you can put in your purse. Something that you can just travel with and just keep it going, you guys. It's just amazing. And it's just gorgeous. And I love it. My other two favorites okay. are these limited edition Red and Wild Fergie line. The Fergie line is just hands down the best. I love the Fergie line. I want to get more into the Fergie line. I know they came out with this is not of the Fergie line, but it's of Wet and Wild. And they come out with a contour duo. I gotta get my hands on that because I think that'll be a great contour thing if I get back into contouring because I haven't been doing contouring in a while and I think I need to get back with it. <laughs> so the first one is in the shade cost. Um, this one is Rose Parade. Gorgeous. I have a tutorial on both that I'm getting ready to show. Be linked below. Um, and also this one is in the shade called Bulletproof Guide. Oh my gosh. These quads here are amazing. You can just take one quad and create a gorgeous look and be amazed by everything. So that was my favorite Wet n Wild eyeshadows. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you want to see more reviews of Wet n Wild products on this channel. And oh, don't forget to be mom. Be mom, you guys. Just be mom. It. Be mom my comment below and request your videos for the month of May. And also, follow me on Instagram. It'll be linked below. Twitter and Facebook will be linked below. And go see me on It's Tiana's Life TV. That's my other channel. Bye, guys. Love you. And thanks for subscribing.